Now you may have seen the previous video from a few years back on ankle sprains. How to prevent an ankle sprain. So it's true what they say, prevention is better than cure. So what can you do to minimize the risk of ankle sprain or a re-sprain? Strength and conditioning. In order to reduce the risk of spraining your ankle, it is advisable to develop a balanced fitness program that incorporates cardiovascular exercise, strength training, proprioceptive training, and flexibility training. As with any new exercise, you should add activities and new exercises cautiously, otherwise you will increase your injury risk. Lawerson et al. 2014 found that strength training reduced sports injuries to less than one third, so strengthening your ankles will help. It was found that proprioceptive training was effective at reducing the rate of ankle sprains in sport especially with previous sprains, according to Shifton et al. 2015. Another study by Riva et al. 2015 found that improved proprioceptive control with single leg balance exercises reduced ankle sprains by 81%. Correct warm up and cool down procedures. Make sure that you warm up before exercising by doing an aerobic activity at an easy pace to gently increase the heart rate and get the body and muscles ready for more intense activity. A cool down after exercising by gradually decreasing the exercise intensity level until breathing and heart rate have returned to normal, then doing gentle stretches whilst the muscles are still warm will help the injury prevention. Correct equipment. Always use proper equipment for what you will be doing. More specifically, Wear appropriate shoes and replace shoes as they wear out. Wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothes that allow free movement. Appropriate recovery. Schedule regular days off from exercise and periodize your training correctly, otherwise you will become overtrained and fatigued, making you more likely to sprain your ankle. Environmental factors. Practice safety measures to help prevent falls, such as keeping stairways and walkways free of clutter, using anti-slip mats under rugs, clearing ice and snow from footpaths in the winter and wearing appropriate footwear in icy conditions. Flat footwear with rubber soles rather than leather soled or high heeled shoes. Medication. Take particular care when taking drugs that cause drowsiness. For example, opioid analgesics. Or if you have a medical condition that predisposes you to falls. For example, epilepsy or balance disorders. Alcohol. Avoid getting drunk. Not the easiest one for most people, but it is obvious and it will lower your injury risk. Weight. Maintain a healthy weight as becoming overweight requires more strength to control your movements and impact forces will be greater. Supports and braces. It has been found that there is significant reduction in ankle sprains in people allocated external ankle support such as semi-rigid orthoses or air cast braces according to Quinn et al. 2000. 15% of ankle sprain patients who used an ankle brace re-sprained, compared with 27% who did neuromuscular training, according to Jensen et al. 2014. Summary. So as you can see, you can reduce the risk of ankle sprains and re-sprains with many measures. So get out and implement these things and maybe I'll never need to see you in my clinic with an ankle sprain. So remember to subscribe to the channel and check out the next videos in the series which will take you through everything you need to know about your ankle sprain and how to get back to full fitness and sport as quickly and easily as possible. We want to keep making great content for our subscribers, so if anyone would like to support the channel by making a pledge, then we would be extremely grateful, and you can do this on our Patreon page here.